Creating a circle community is super easy. When you sign up, you're brought to this page where you can set your community name, your community URL, which you can change to a custom domain later. You can set your community to private, which means that you invite people to join your community versus people being able to sign up and join your community automatically. You can change your branding color and upload a logo and an icon. I've already set up a circle community for my website called the Magical Unicorn Agency. As you can see, I've already matched the look and feel of my website so that my circle community is an extension of my website. I've customized the spaces and added emojis. I've uploaded an image to welcome people to the community in the say hi space, and I've uploaded my avatar. All of which can be updated and changed in the settings panel of circle. So let's say that I want to embed my circle community into my super notion website. One way I can do this is heading back into Circle and going to the Embed section under Settings. You can then grab this community widget code and then head into Super and click on the Settings icon of your Super URL and under Super Options, you can paste it in this snippet injection box and hit Save. Now let's head to our website and hit refresh and you'll notice that this pink circle icon has popped up in the bottom right hand corner of my site and when I click on that I can see my circle community and navigate through this widget. I'm logged in which is why you can uh, access and see the community so I'm going to sign out and you'll notice that I can still see the community. So this is because under my settings in the general tab, I'm gonna sign back in real quick. I have make this as a private community turned off. So if I turn this back on and hit save and then sign out again and then head over to my website and click out of this and we'll refresh this as well. You'll see that I am prompted to sign in or sign up. If you do have the private community toggle on, you will want to set a URL for people to sign up. So if you have a form on your website, you would want to put in that link here so that when people click on this sign up now link, they are directed to your form so that you can give them access to your community. In the next lesson, I'm going to build onto this and I'm going to show you how to set up single sign-on using MemberSpace and then how to use MemberSpace to charge for access to content in your community and also gate content on your website. If you have any questions, please reach out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next lesson.